I had a question. Um, your your grandfather, who was a preacher, what do you what do you think he would think about um, mm. the state of your Instagram? Sorry, I'm like super hard of hearing. Do you care to like repeat? What would, oh, what would your what would your grandfather think about your Instagram and he your knows, lifestyle? My family knows. I told my family as soon as I started doing because I didn't want them to think I was actually doing, which they would never think I was doing. But like I just make a lot to not do that much considering compared to other people what they do which I don't care what people do on but everyone has their niche and mine is that I came from a Christian family and uh, the Bible Belt and then went to Florida sorry wait your your grand your preacher grandfather knows that you are selling on the internet but what I do live for seven years I've been doing it for seven years so and what does he say about it um, he did, we don't talk about it. He, he's, a, he's a real Christian. He doesn't judge me for what I do. He knows that all the things that, the places that I've been, I take care of my mom for the last couple of years, so like I couldn't do that maybe with a normal job and live in Florida and have all the nice things that I have. So I didn't come think, from any money. You think real Christians don't judge? Um, I think that, yeah, I think that it's not their place. Well, it's not maybe. a Christian's place it, to judge? I don't judge people, but also I and so why would I? Um, <laughs> right. Yeah, that sounds like a cope, right? Sounds yeah, like you're coping. Yeah, should quote me on it. So does your, your, your grandfather, he knows, and he just, you know, he just doesn't, he's just not a very judgmental type of, of Christian, your, your, your preacher grandfather? Yeah, yeah, it's just definitely not talked about. Um, they know that I took the route of growing a lot of social media, so I've had like 15 million followers. Donated one hundred dollars. Holy shite! This girl is f- haram. Traditional my fucking as. Brian Abdul is backing the truck up. He has an appointment with this three hundred and four. Hashtag get the rocks. Hashtag cat food. Hashtag end up alone, bish. What's cat food mean? So how does this conversation both play out with preacher cat grandfather? Lady. Like walk me through it. You just were like, hey, I'm um going to sell something on the internet and he was just like well okay then or like how, how does that work exactly um like how did i start how did i get started no 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 oh, no no, no, no. no i don't i don't want to hear how you got oh. started just curious your conversation with your grandfather who's a preacher mm-hmm. right how does that conversation go how does that work exactly when you sit down with him and you're like hey hey grampy how you doing uh you know i'm selling online they just he just does he just didn't care or so essentially i told my grandmother and my mom i didn't grow up with a dad go figure another stereotype about only that's normally always right um so yeah me and my grandpa we just don't talk about it why would we talk about me doing nude work why would i talk about nude work well i would only... think that perhaps he would try to talk you out of it no yeah. i mean i'm a, I'm a grown adult i started at 22 like i'm 29 <laughs> now so i was plenty grown i wasn't 18 like deciding hey i'm gonna do this well don't you think that a christian father would at least make the attempt i know they can't stop it right because you're an adult but wouldn't they make the attempt to talk their children out of doing all man's work yeah i guess i didn't really give them such a, a chance to to uh to do it and then i kind of blew up really really quick on social media i kind of figured out how to grow really fast and um yeah, my stuff just got out there really, really fast. So within a yeah, year. Yeah, but you've been you've been at this for years and years, right? Yeah, yeah, for seven. There years. There hasn't been any opportunity where Grandpa could come over and be like, "Hey, young whippersnapper, um, you know, maybe stop selling on the internet." That he that he's never had the opportunity to do that. Probably. So my grandma, she she's like kind of dying. So when my grandma dies, I'm sure that we'll have that conversation. But we're just not close like that at this point because of the fact that I do fans like how can i have daily conversations or weekly conversations with my grandpa who's godly um and talk about my life you know and my life is what it is i live in florida they don't even want to hear about me going to the beach in my bathing suit so okay now you grew you grew up you said without a father is that correct yeah i had four stepdads so <laughs> even better so when you're talking about this grandfather i'm guessing that it's your maternal grandfather your your mom's father yeah no, no, okay. actually he's not. It's my step grandpa. So, yeah. You're, oh, it's your step step grandpa. Yeah. And it, which stepdad number would that be? 
Um, my step grandpa. I mean, my mom didn't get with my grandpa. I don't know if that didn't make sense. Um, no, I, I understand your mom didn't get with your grandpa, but if it's your step grandpa, then your mom got with a man who you then considered his father to be your grandfather. Um, but you said you had four stepfathers, so I'm just wondering which in the line you consider step grandpa to be. Second stepfather, third stepfather, fourth stepfather. No, he was never never a father figure. He's 20 years younger than my grandma, so he's like, I guess he's close to my dad's age. I have a dad. I just didn't grow up with him. Like, I have a, my dad encourages me to do OnlyFans. So there's a lot of things that are wrong with a lot of people that do OnlyFans, and it's generally the people that are around them. And it's also your, us. Your, hang on. Your father encourages you to do Yeah. Yeah. He just wants to constantly know if I'm making more money this month than I was last month. That's all he cares about. Does he ask you for any? No. He doesn't ask me for money. He just wants to know that I'm doing well. We just met a couple years ago, four years ago. So. Is this your current wait, you just stepfather? Wait. You just met your biological father four years ago? Yeah. Yeah, I told him, I'm like, I'm 25, I'm going to die eventually, and you are too, so I'd like to meet you before you die. Oh, so you meet up, so you meet up with your bio dad, and you're sitting down, and how do you spring it on him? Um, so I, I, I told him in text, because he lived in, he lived in Texas, and I was in Arkansas at the time, and I just told him, I was like, I know you don't do social media, but like, I have millions of followers online, so this is what I do, and and that's just what it is i'm an adult and you don't know me and basically that's where i was at but he encourages me it's crazy just because you're adult doesn't mean that your parents can't tell you like what you should and shouldn't do i know i mean they could parental advice is warranted throughout your lifetime regardless of age sure. yeah I, I was just um, just one 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 last follow-up as we're kind of digging into this um didn't you say that you came from a very traditional christian family like my grandparents my mom she's christian now but like when i was growing up she wasn't so so at all like she would be like me saying i'm christian now you know what i mean so but not quite but the same so where well, does your the, traditional upbringing come from yeah. what was that where does your traditional upbringing come from um, um, my grandparents so my grandparents have helped help raise me because i had four stepdads so i didn't uh -huh. have a super stable home environment your mother's parents my mom's mom and then my okay. grandpa my step grandpa okay got it so, got it yeah okay your step grandpa would be your grandmother remarried is yeah. what that's okay gotcha all okay. right so how long um has step grandpa been in the picture They've been married, so it's it's crazy, crazy. And um, she was 38, and he was 18. He was working for her family. Wow. I know, um, but they they found God together, and he became a preacher shortly after they got together. He she's the only woman he's ever been with. Um, she was married before him because she's 20 years older. 